What are we doing? We're going to talk to an animal communicator today, because <laughs> Paris is a mystery. Are you a mystery? I saw um, a TikTok of people doing this, and then I thought it was funny, and I sent it to TJ, and then I was like literally sleeping one night, and he was like, I found the pet communicator. <laughs> <laughs> we're in on the bit here. No, we're not. I believe it. <laughs> oh, you're so warm. Our little sun bunny. You nervous? No need to be nervous. We're communicating. Waiting for the ghost to start the meeting. <laughs> you are a dog. You are a doggy. <laughs> what do you want to tell us? That you're a puppy? Hello. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you all. Now, your dog can be wherever they want to be. Okay. Uh, that's why I have the photos. So please just allow your dog to move freely so that I get a clear communication, okay? Sure. Okay, great. What is your dog's name, by the way? Paris. Paris boy, Paris girl. She's a girl. Oh, okay. okay. Since I'm not connected with her. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect with your baby. And once I do, oh, before I start... I'm going to mention some words. You just tell me yes or no. What is your focus? Okay. Okay. Is this regarding Paris's behavior? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is it regarding Paris's because I'm feeling like it has to do with maybe before she was rescued. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was getting. Okay. So <clears throat> we connect. Right when I started connecting to her, the first thing she said to me was, I'm afraid to share. I passed. Mm -hmm. And I said, it's okay, sweetheart. You're, you're in a safe place. So I'm having to reassure her that she's safe. And she's telling me it's not about you all. It's literally about her past traumas. Paris, would you be more comfortable if I just asked you something easy first? Okay, let's just go with that. Describe to me a little bit about your personality. She says, I'm on edge and I'm afraid to share all of myself. Does that sound like her? Yep. <laughs> She's also showing me um, kind of like her pushing around things with her nose. Like it looks like she's tidying things up. Hmm. So there's something about like her keeping an area a certain way that she wants it to be. And it makes her feel more secure. Paris, would you like to share why, what is that behavior about? Wow. It's something I have control over. Because she feels like what has happened to her in the past, it's like since she didn't have a lot of control, that's the little control she had. So she is using the word abandonment, getting the word abandonment. So there was a period of abandonment. And she's also using abuse. Oh. There's two... Um, it was abuse first and then abandonment second. Paris, were you on the streets? Don't know if I want to use those words. What words are you comfortable using? I'm not. Okay. All right. It's okay. I'm, um, she's feeling emotional because I'm like choking up. So I'm feeling her emotional. Like it's oh, like lady, you're getting overbearing and asking me some private questions right now. I, I don't mean to, Paris. I mean, it's just that mom and dad, your caregivers, that's how you're referring to them? Okay. Okay. She says, my caregivers. Your caregivers are, just want to know more about you so that they can do the best for you and care the best for you as possible. That's all. Okay. I'm not trying to be invasive. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to judge you. Okay. I'm not asking these questions to be judgmental in any way, Paris, okay? She says, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, honey. Still not ready. Okay, uh, can we ask her an easy question? Maybe something that she wouldn't feel so uncomfortable about talking about. Maybe something about, maybe about food or something that's not as, um... Yeah, does she like her food that she's currently eating? Hmm. She's saying there's something that could be approved upon. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paris, 
please explain a little bit more detail or share with me in a different way how you would want to improve on that food. She's showing me fresh, like, cooked chicken, like she would. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> really? She's also showing me fresh frozen peas. She does like when your mom gives her those. Yeah, did my mom spoil you? <laughs> okay, is there anything? Really? She's she's showing the apple slices. <laughs> the <clears throat> apples? Do you want to try them? Is that what? She goes, yeah, I'm curious about it. <laughs> I would like it. Okay. Paris, I think we could maybe ask you some questions about behavior. How about we do that instead of talking about your past? Could we do that? Why do you attack other dogs? Okay, so first of all, she has this fear that they're going to get in her face. So it's like, I attack my, if I, if I show that I'm bigger and better first, you know, I got to be the, I got to be the first one to lunge out. I got to show them that I'm tough. Uh, again, that is from her past and things that have happened to her. How come you're so mean to your pop pop and your dad sometimes? Mean? She's like, wait a minute. Paris, are you aware that you're doing that? She was showing me kind of like she goes into a flash of red. Mm. Are you aware? So do you, are you aware that you do do it? Not fully. She's like not fully all there when she's doing it. So she does need to be brought back into the present moment in some way. I'm, I'm getting. She's also showing me that it would be good for her to be removed from the situation by a female, a human female. Now that you have brought that up, there's more that I'm seeing. The abuse that was done to her was from men only. She's telling me she will always feel more comfortable with a female human. It's just they never did anything to her. So it's nothing personal towards you, it's the past. What do you think about when we go on the plane? We're just traveling in general. Mm -hmm. The car, what do you think about the car and the plane? Interesting. Um, there's two things that she's sharing with me. First of all, the vibration of the movement. There's anxiety towards the vibration of the movement because literally she keeps saying vibration, vibration, vibration. Mm -hmm. And then I heard the word anxiety. Okay, so that's number one. And number two, there's this whole thing about she doesn't know where she's going. Mm -hmm. And it's an uneasiness of not having control. She has this thing about not having control. Like it's very, if I don't have control over a situation or I don't know what's happening, it's horrible. Now, if Paris, if your caregivers, because that's how you refer to them, <laughs> Rude. <laughs> uh, if your caregivers were to tell you prior where you're going, what to expect, all of these things, would they be? Would that be easier for you? She says yes, somewhat. But I really need more of a detail. What's your favorite thing to do with us? So she is showing me being outdoors, but it's something about outdoors and not being disturbed by other animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so in a place that it's quiet. Not really so much a park, more of like a trail that would be isolated. <laughs> now she does think, Paris, you're funny. What, what, what do you think, what do you think is more fascinating? Squirrels or, or birds? She's like, I'd like to catch a squirrel one day. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see what else she might want to share. TJ's you, correct? With the hat. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I want to make sure because that's who she's saying. Um, she's talking. You go on bit. You go on trips for business sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's referring to that, and she doesn't know when you're going, when you're leaving, how long you're going to be. Again, it's this whole thing of the unknown. So she's asking again for you to divulge your schedule. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to go. In four days, I'm going to be on a business trip and Aaron's coming with me and you're going to have this caregiver for so many days. She's asking for a lot more information as to her, because it she feels it impacts her schedule. But you want me to ask for what she would prefer? I mean, is it common that you'd be having somebody else take care of her? Yeah. This is a big deal to her, by the way. Yeah. This is like big, a big part of her life. She needs to know your schedule. 
Like, <laughs> huge. So, she's, I'm literally seeing that she comes to take care of Paris, and she's on the phone, and she's, like, complaining about her private life to somebody else. And it's like, well, wait a minute, can you focus on me? <laughs> so she's not feeling like she's getting the attention that she would like from the pet sitter. Does she prefer it be her grandparents? Her mom, mom, and pop, pop. Mom, mom, yes. <laughs> pop, pop, whatever. <laughs> pop, pop's like, you know what I'm getting from her? Can he talk a little more? So she feels like he's very quiet. Mm. So mom, mom is more, I feel more engaging. Yeah. Her. That's what I'm getting. And it's that whole like spoiled grandma vibe that she just loves. She's like, oh my gosh, I get all this attention. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's awesome. She really loves her. There's a special bond there. Does she ever think about her babies? There's like maybe a memory or a thought or could I have been with them longer? Paris, do you ever wonder where they are? No. She's glad that, not glad, but it's a relief that she can't have any more babies. It's too painful for her. She had all ready to talk more about her life before us? I can try. We'll see. So there's some images that she is sharing with me and it's pretty violent. Throwing her across the room by her neck. Seeing like three other dogs in this environment. And I'm getting that from this particular man, it was like, well, if she would only fall in line. I am getting that she was without food when she didn't behave so that he thought she needed to behave. We're, we're talking pretty bad situation. How did you get away from him, Paris? I do see some way she escaped or something. She like escaped through back door or something. And she is showing me that she just kept walking and she doesn't know how long she just kept walking. I see even like her pants, it's just raw. I do feel that when she was found, she didn't know what to make of the person that found her. Like, are they gonna hurt me? Are they gonna, like, what are they gonna do to me? Interesting. So she is showing me that I guess she was in a lot of different foster homes. I'm getting three. Those are the ones I'm seeing right now is three foster homes. It took her a while to understand that when they would put food down when she was at a foster home, like it was safe to eat, like I'm not going to get penalized. Is there anything was... that we could do to like make her feel more safe or, you know, let her know that that, that will never happen to her again? <clears throat> she says the word time and this whole thing about knowing about her routine <laughs> is a for her to feel like there's some control, like there's some security for her. Mm -hmm. She keeps showing me like a blanket or a sheet or a towel. There's something that about that blanket sheet or towel that it, it it's it gives her some security. Really? Okay, so she showed me scented candles. Do you all use something like Scented candles or Febreze or something with scent. Yeah, we have candles. Doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't like it. She's like, can't they not be smelly? <laughs> She's calling them smelly. <laughs> this is maybe the blanket you were talking about? Yeah. On your bed. She Last night she kept going over to her bed. Even at like 2 in the morning she kept going over to her bed. Like in here? here? And I was like, come to the little bed. But you love your little bed when you're feeling anxious, huh? Do you feel better knowing that she is mean to you because of her anxiety? <laughs> I almost knew that. <laughs> I'm gonna get you more on a schedule. Yeah. And we'll get rid of all our candles. I don't... I feel like it's not candles. I think it's the perfumes that we put on before we go out. Oh, and it stresses her out. Yeah, because we put it on only when we're about to go out. Uh-huh. And we always leave the house when we smell good. It's really interesting, the her, like, origin story, how she first said, like, I'm seeing... Like, she don't tell me anything, but I'm seeing, like, abuse and then abandonment which she was like on the streets you escaped but you were very skinny and when we got her remember she like wouldn't eat mm -hmm. 
And it was interesting too, because I remember texting me, like, she's not eating or like drinking water. Mm -hmm. and they're like, well, we didn't have a problem, but it's probably because at that point she felt safe with that foster. Well, you want your cooked chicken and your frozen peas. <laughs> you want me to cook you chickens every week? You need fresh chicken with some chicken broth. I can make you some. I can do my Instant Pot every week and do a meal prep for you. <laughs> you love chicken. My mom spoiled you. You got the taste of that, and then you were like, that's all I want now. Yeah, that's literally like what she would make her is chicken and peas. I know. It's also very funny that she said the, like, she loves being outside, but, like, not at a park yeah, or with other here. dogs. I want to be disturbed <laughs> by other animals. Yeah, like, she just wants to W-A-L-K. That is so true. That is your favorite place. Okay, you want to know your schedule? We're here all week until... Thursday and then Thursday afternoon Mom and dad are gonna go on a trip together and you're gonna stay home. You're gonna stay here with Jules Jules will come on Thursday night and She'll be with you until Monday we'll be back Monday afternoon So it's four sleeps without us weather here <laughs> Is gonna be pretty nice Looks like it's partly cloudy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like them? It's good. We're having her try her apples just like she wanted. <laughs> Be cute. She loves it. You want more? 